Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together as Lindiskoy the Scourge. It is the turn of Alandra the Exorcist. Um, and we have to get a move on because Edward Portsmouth is coming here. He's moving in, into my lands and I need some uh, person to stop him. This will be Elandra. So we're gonna move in here. See what we can do. It says probable defeat. Um, yeah, it's possible. Our gluttons are pretty wounded. Especially our good glutton over here. <coughs> I don't know what we're going to do. I think I'll just heal up my bigger one of my two gluttons. And we're going to try and... I'm going to attack all these guys. He's a champion already. Cool. Send in my butcher. <clears throat> yeah, him. He has to. He has to stay back a little. Do that. Gets the Naga slither down a bit more. And we might attack the Feathered Serpent. Although what we should really do is try to kill this glutton. It will bring him down considerably. Uh, didn't die, but he lost 40, 40 hit points. So that's good. These guys have regrowth. That's always annoying. Oh! And he he eat my butchers! Incredible. You're not allowed to do that. You're simply not allowed. I'm going to attack the Naga Matriarch. Let's see if we can agree curse her. Yes, we could. Eat the Matriarch. Not how it was supposed to work, but it's fine anyway. We'll have to destroy the slither. Yeah, they are done. And one of these guys has eaten my my guy. You did it. I want my butchers back. Oh, makes no matter. We're going to kill you first because you're the weakest. I can't even do enough damage to offset the life drain. <laughs> can we can we taunt you? Yeah, we we taunt him. Hey, when he taunts, he does this uh, thing with his tongue, sticking his tongue out like. Uh. <laughs> I really like these units. They are so fun. Oh, the Feathered Serpent is running away. Impossible. Alandra has been eaten. But these two guys have been... have been... Uh, cursed. That's really good. That's really good. And she is... she's undying. So she will come back. We should actually kill this guy. Yeah, so he's down. Now we're going to true resurrect him. And then we're going to... Uh, to attack this guy. Maybe we can get a long route again. Oh, we, we've got our butchers back. <laughs> I really like that. Om nom 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 nom. The 
gas gas breath will hurt the uh, the other glutton. That is fun. Need to defend with him. Can't do anything with you. Let's end the turn. He just did his useless gas breath, and Alandra is back. Cheers, Alandra. Do you want to try and kill him? Let's do it. Yeah, he's dead. So, what have we gotten out of this? I think we've got all our gluttons. And the matriarch. Cool, we got a whole new army out of this. <laughs> uh, what have we got? A keeper brooch of the world? We have gotten this before, didn't we? We don't need that. Resistance is nice, but blight protection we already have, and forest concealment we really don't need. What's that? Kite shield of abjuration. Shield to resistance to defense. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to give that to Alondra. If she has more defense, she will be more sturdy. I like that. Can never hurt. I should really make her a weapon that gives life drain. She needs it. She's badly equipped. So we have gotten a whole army. A whole new army. <coughs> this is a living unit though. We can still get over there and loot this thing. We have our expert Ghoul Glutton. He's still not really healed. The matriarch can do heal undead. And she has regrowth. What do you get if you level up? Call lightning. Ooh. And if you get to veteran, you get minor bard skills. Fun. Minor bard skills. I wonder what that is. Another person with heal undead in this deck would actually be pretty strong. Don't get me wrong, the butchers, the butchers are godlike. They are really, really good. We're going to take the matriarch with us. And I guess I should really send the glutton in here to do some defending and... Uh, Down here. You can go into the city and recoup some some health. You're already a trooper. But you are living. We need a dead glutton. So you are going to come with us. Yeah, we're going to to attack this thing too. Yeah, we might get some Manticore Riders out of this. High Elf Manticore Riders. Ah, oh, that's not good. All these guys are High Elves. Doesn't matter though. They are still tier 4 units. We can use them, at least to defend our cities. And they're letting us come to them. Well, well why not? Why not? Oh, they can also throw curse. Yeah, these Naga Matriarchs are rather good, I'd say. Alandra. Oh, yeah, she needs she needs 50 health points. She really does. I'm going to send in the Dread Reaper. He will shake off any sort of damage that they can do to him. He just doesn't care. Because he's incorporeal. He's also death personified. Which is badass. And the butchers. <clears throat> the butchers are are great, especially for what they cost. They cost nearly nothing. And they pack a hell of a lot of punch. It's 
especially if you have kitted them out like we do. I can try to kill this Manticore Rider. Haha, <laughs> shabam. You're dead. Mm. I'm going to, s to try and use the Matriarch to charm another one of these Manticores. Because Manticore Riders don't have mind control immunity, as far as I remember. Oh, this guy is panicked. Never thought he would be attacked by death. So let's let's attack him. Yes, he has cool curse. Cool. So we're going to eat him now. Couldn't really fully eat him, but at least we could try. What about the charm? No, that doesn't really work. Random location within five hexes. These hires have blight, um, blight weakness, so they take a lot of damage from being blighted. What about my Dread Reaper? Yeah, you could, you could kill this fool. Steal the enchantment. You can curse someone. Yeah, curse these fools. And we can see if we cannot get them to... <clears throat> to be ghoulified. I could steal one effect. I could steal the stun effect to uh, get the matriarch. They cannot be affected. Do they have mind control immunity? Yeah, they do. Interesting. Didn't know that. Yeah. Steal Alandra's effect. <laughs> which is <laughs> which is just great fun. I'm going to, to to resurrect this Manticore Rider over here. This might kill him. We'll only attack once, but we might ghoul curse him. Oh, he's immune. Shite. Makes no matter. Thing. Going to taunt the High Elf Berserker. Ah, you can do any. You can do something. So we're done now. Or what? None of my units died. I can resurrect another another guy. Nine, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. You will kill these guys in any case, so do it. And steal some life back. We got two Manticore Riders and a Berserker out of this and leveled up our uh, Naga Matriarch. Cool. It's going exceptionally well. I'm discovering more units. A Dwarven Firstborn and a Tigran Sphinx. Hmm. Should we take them instead of gold? Yeah, why not? How far can you go? We 
get out of this army. You get out of this army. I'm going to send you in to be ghoulified. Because we only want ghoul units. Can we get someone else out of here? Yeah. We need a bit of healing, but not that much. Because we need one more Manticore Rider ghoulified. We would also need this guy ghoulified, but... Can I take you out? Yeah. So, come on. You have to be a ghoul too. Being a ghoul is fun, you'll see. Hmm, what are we going to do now? We have some strong units here. Just put them together. I should be healed though. Go into the city, get your healing done. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, you guys... I already have some units down there. I think these are perfect to do a bit more defense in our hometown. Yeah, yeah, you're doing fine. So it seems I have to end the turn. I have a lot of money though, so let me let me have a look if there aren't any. Yeah, this building project has been stopped. It shouldn't really be stopped. I want it. I want it built. Build me that. And this has to go fast. Fine, 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 fine. This needs to go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, we're not building the bone collector because we don't have any money here. Uh, it's probably silly to build anything. We're not making a lot of money now. Because we've gotten a lot of units. I think I have to send them to the front. And start fighting. I, yeah, you want a production. What? I can build the tower number one and tower number three. Tower number two is standing and the other were destroyed. That's odd. I put that if you have time. Um, I'm going to end the turn here. A lot of stuff has been produced. I have two main invasions. I expect to be attacked. And they're coming from the upper world. From the surface. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. Because we're now being attacked and I have to end the episode. Can I... I can't really, <coughs> so I have to do it, and this episode will be a bit longer. Um, I have to, I have to hurt them where I can. I probably can't win this. We're going to try. Come on, bring it. So he's overloading all his guys. to weaken the knights. I think we might as le at least do some things. Destroy some units, if not all. We have to send up Alandra to capture back these, these units, uh, these cities. Could 
cast, but I don't want to. Yeah. I think sieging is the strongest thing that uh, that dreadnoughts can do because they have all the equipment for it. I can just wreak havoc on you in an insane way. Yeah. Got the Blight Doctor back in action. And do me some poison spitting. You do have Demolisher, don't you? No? No? Oh, well. Um. Odd. I would have thought that they had Demolisher, but it doesn't look like it. I'm going to go out and try to get at least one Juggernaut down. You guys can't do anything. Maybe I'm too defensive. And my only guys left are ensnared. this battle definitely. Nothing I can do here. Can't even can't even do any attacking. I mean I could uh, raise the dead. I haven't researched Scourge of the Dead. Unit that slays this undead unit is marked for death. Well, if I spend this uh, 30 mana points and they kill them with these guys, I will be annoyed. I can true resurrect a tier 4 unit with 25 mana, so I won't do it. Maybe I should have just automated this. And we lost. Yeah, I, I expected it to go that way. It's fine. Uh, makes no matter. Agony produced a scythe. We're going to send that to Jazra. Oh! That is, that is very interesting. So they have a hero over there. Yeah, it galls me that he has taken Blight, Dark Eternal and Blackwater. But fear not, we are coming at them with our with our units. Get into the city. Hey, this is Notch! Per Notchson. <laughs> he has a Frost Wyvern. I would like to get that mount. That would be cool, actually. So we're going to send Satura the Dark up here. Maybe we can catch him. And um, yeah, I have to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. If you want to see more of this series in the future, then please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.